All right, guys. We're going to talk about key machine brushes. Because I don't think I've ever talked about that before. And because I need to put a new one up. Let's go. So when you cut keys, and I know some of you know this, but some don't. When you cut keys, it leaves little burrs on the key. And that is the reason why you have to brush the key, because these little burrs can make it harder for the key to go in and out of the lock, as well as the little burrs can actually get inside the lock and cause problems. So, to alleviate that, you brush the key off after you cut it on a machine. Now, most people have brushes on their individual machines a lot of duplicators come with an attachment to put a brush on and they all use one of two main types of brushes the first one being the hpc brand which is our preferred brand tyx-3 it's made out of tylon x now i have gone through and google searched for tylon x and there are some references to a plastics company that makes Tylon in different formulas like 664, 668, all these other formulas. But on their actual website, there's no reference to Tylon X. However, Tylon, the name, appears to be proprietary to them. So I'm assuming HPC buys their plastics and makes the brushes with them. Now, these, if you'll notice have a very kind of a short it's got a bigger metal surface area and the bristles are shorter it it doesn't poke you it's a soft material and the other brand is made by i believe another <clears throat> another company i want to say it was jet manufacturer it may not be but it was the other one if you look at the and i'm no, i don't have one here because i've thrown them all out but if you look at it in the picture they're about the same price i both pretty much say the same thing but the the bristles are longer there's a smaller metal and the bristles are longer and you think that because the bristles are longer that it would either last longer or be better preferably last longer but I have I've used them when the companies my distributors were out of these and I found that these retain their narrow width a lot better which is good <laughs> when you have to brush the key and that narrow gets in the cuts. With the other one, with the longer bristles, they flay, splay, flay out. They, the bristles, instead of keeping this uniform width, they will flare out really bad. And when you go and you push your key into it, it makes it even worse progressively. And they just don't last as long. And this is my preferred one, TYX dash three Tylon X dash three I guess and uh, as you see I have a separate motor for it because we do brush a lot of keys we cut a lot of keys now if you don't have a machine with a brush um, you can brush your keys in a variety of other ways but for the most part we're just gonna go ahead and switch this out because this is how we do it and we have this separate motor so I'm gonna go ahead and switch this brush out real quick I date these I have for the past few times dated it and it looks like they go about a little over two months every time usually so uh, we got five five nine there so today is uh, eight two so that's uh, uh, coming up on three months that's pretty good and we cut a lot of keys so I'm going to go ahead and replace it with one of these and recap it Tighten it down. Now I always, we have this shield over it. I always take a note whenever we switch the brush out in case Kim, to remind both Kim and I. Because when we're used to brushing keys on this old beat up one, we go in, if you go in hard on a new brush, it will jerk the key. So I always kind of hang a note here for a day or so after until we both get used to the fact that there's already a new brush in. So, 
if you don't have a key machine brush like this or a key machine with a brush on it, here's a couple other ways to brush keys off. Of course, the most obvious way is to use a key machine brush. Obviously, that's the easiest way, and it is a little dirty, but, you know, what do you expect? It's going to throw dust and debris everywhere, which is why we have this little cup area behind it. So, if you're using one of these in your truck or your vehicle or your home basement or whatever, obviously, kind of try to sequelch an area off so that the dust and debris kind of stays contained. But again, there are other ways to brush keys off. You could clamp it up in a vise and use a hand wire brush. I wildly exaggerated that. Doesn't do that great of a job. You could use a scary wire brush like this. but I wouldn't recommend getting your finger caught in it. Or, and mostly lastly, you could just lay it down on a counter and take a flat needles file, needle file and hit it on the edges. just to get those burrs off. Still best to brush it with something. Now, there are those nylon style brushes that you can get at certain places instead of a wire wheel. Uh, I don't, I haven't really used those. Maybe some of you guys have, if you have, leave it in the comments, but they're like those red bristle brushes that are kind of similar to these, but not specifically made for keys. So anyway, that's it, brushes key machine style if y'all have any questions or comments as always put them in the comment section and uh i appreciate you guys watching y'all have a great one see you next video